Before starting this course on adventure game programming, you need to make sure that you've got the software needed to write and run your programs. As mentioned in lesson one, I'll be teaching in both the C Sharp and Java languages. If you haven't yet watched lesson one, I'd suggest you watch that now before continuing, as it gives you an overview of this course. To program in C Sharp on Windows, you'll need a copy of Microsoft's Visual Studio, free from the Microsoft site. See the links down below. You can also program C Sharp on other operating systems using various editors, such as Visual Studio Code. But if you do that, you're on your own. I'll only be using the full Windows version of Visual Studio. I have another video that explains how to install Visual Studio if you need that, and the link again is shown down below. If you plan to program in Java, you'll need, at the very least, a Java compiler and a Java programming editor or IDE, an integrated development environment. There are quite a few of those, and it really doesn't matter which one you use. In this course, I'll use NetBeans for the simple reason I know it quite well, and it does everything I want. Bear in mind that this course is not a Java tutorial, so if you plan to follow along using Java, I assume you've already got some programming knowledge in Java. As I said in the previous lesson, if you plan to program on Windows, I strongly suggest that you use C Sharp in Visual Studio. But I will explain how to write games in Java too, so if you want to use Java on Windows, Mac OS or Linux, well that's fine as well. Be sure to take some time to get to know how to use your chosen IDE, Visual Studio for C Sharp, NetBeans or some other IDE for Java. In this course, I'll be creating console applications, that is, programs that run at the system, system prompt. And in the next two lessons, I'll show how to create a simple console application in Visual Studio and also in NetBeans. If you already know how to do that, well, you can skip those lessons and jump straight onto the lesson that explains how to read commands from the main loop. Now, remember to subscribe to the Code With You channel and click the bell so that you'll get an email whenever I publish new lessons.